we have so many opportunities in front of us right now. And I think it's really exciting because there are new readers everywhere. And they're just waiting for all of you to find them and tell, <laughs> tell them why Wikipedia can help them and what would be useful. Because remember, everyone who's here right now started as a Wikipedia reader. Um, and I think that's an important thing to kind of keep in mind as you're continuing to develop your ideas about how to share Wikipedia with other people. Remember, what is it that makes Wikipedia really special to you? Is there a kind of content that you think is really important? Is there a way that you found Wikipedia is really, really useful to you? Focusing on those kinds of things, the magic of reading it, the power of reading it, but focusing on that when you're telling other people about Wikipedia will help them understand why it's so important. Later on as they're reading, they'll find out more of the amazing things about how it comes together, where the information comes from and all the rest. But start with that spark of interest. Anyway, uh, I got a little off track there. Um, I'm gonna get into new readers' personas. So what I was talking about earlier with personas is these were things that we created when we were doing um, planning different um, products, tools, um, and awareness campaigns. We were thinking about, we were gathering information from all of the different people who have, um, goodness, I'm going like, Maria, you have done design research <laughs> classes. Yes. So you can be a little more specific than I can. I'm certain about like, what is a persona? How can people think of it? Yeah, so uh, personas are, uh, it's like a character uh, that one creates for a story. So um, uh, the, uh, what it does is it describes certain characteristics of, of a person and how they, in this case, um, how do they uh, connect to Wikipedia? What kind of readers are they? Uh, these are the, the type of user personas that, that we're focusing on readers uh, for, for, for this research. So um, a persona is uh, basically a tool that helps in product development uh, to have the end user in, in mind when they are developing a new technological solution. So uh, the goal is to, after, when, when there is research, there are a number of findings. Uh, with that, we, we create uh, or we imagine um, what kind of people or uh, types of personalities um, can, uh, can we be addressing with this um, that could be useful for product development? Yeah. That's what user personas are. Thank you, Maria. <laughs> Those online classes are paying off. <laughs> um, I really appreciate your help though. So what is helpful to do with a persona? Um, you'll see in the idea templates, we ask about who your audience is. And what we're trying to get at there is who are the people that you're trying to reach? We want to know about how old are they? Um, that might tell you things about the kinds of where they might be looking for information. We want to know what are they interested in? Um, what kind of social media do they use? Where do they look for information? It's these questions that we've been asking throughout this um, workshop. It's trying to build a picture of who the audience is and who the readers are that you're trying to target with your idea to inspire new readers. And what you can do when you have these personas is compare, oh, hey, well, if I do this project in this way, is it going to appeal to that person? Are they going to see it? Um, it's helpful to find out if what you're planning is right for the people you want to reach. So that was a long time to look at this blue slide. I will introduce you to two of the personas that we created during the new readers research. So this is Shilpa. And again, this is not a specific person. This is just um, a character who's made up of characteristics that we saw during our interviews with many people in India. It's not representative of all the people in India. It's just this sort of uh, type of person. So Shilpa lives in Northern India. She has inconsistent internet access. She's never heard of Wikipedia and she learns things from her friends and family. Like they send her group texts about, I remember reading deeper into this, they send group texts about um, different movie stars that they're interested in or different kinds of news and information that they care about. 
And this is Chris. Chris lives in Nigeria. He has intermittent internet access. So that's sometimes he's online, but sometimes he can't get online. He likes to use Wikipedia to win arguments, specifically about sports. He wants to have the right answer about how tall a particular football player is. And he downloads content to use at home when he doesn't have internet. So these characteristics that we've seen about Chris and Shilpa, they describe more of how they're using the internet in a broad sense. And these weren't really tailored to be like their needs around um, the information that they care about, where they are working, where they are in social media. But you can create this kind of thing for a persona for the new reader that you're trying to reach. So this was just kind of fun. Chris and Shilpa have a lot in common. So you could plan something that would help both of them. So some of these ways that you can look at the things that they have in common, you can have multiple people that you're trying to reach with a project and you'll see that there are ways that um, your project could serve people with multiple needs. Ultimately with these new readers um, ideas, I wanna encourage people to start small, try something where you live in your area with just one specific audience. And as you learn how that works, you can build up and try and reach multiple audiences, or instead of speaking to just one school, speaking to 10 schools. It's really important to start small, try something, see if things work. So that is the end of the slides that I have prepared today. Um, you can read more about the research that we discussed. Um, here on Meta on the New Readers page. You can also find out updates about the different kinds of projects that we are working on. So that's products that are being developed and also um, awareness campaigns and different things that we're doing as part of the New Readers program here at the Wikimedia Foundation.